Greetings everyone and welcome to question number two of US Examination Mathematics 1 section. For this question we have chosen a question which was already asked in US Examination in the year 2013. So let's see what the question asks us and what is the process we need to follow to get to the right answer. In this question we have A96 plus BC it's equal to 6A9. If a should not be equal to 0, what is the value of a minus b plus c? Now, what is the first thing that we can see here? We know that 6 plus c is equal to 9. So if 6 plus c is equal to 9, then c must be equal to 3. So the first number we found. Now, let's get, uh, let's get to 9 and b. So if I add 9 and b, it must be equal to a. Now, we are told that A must not be equal to 0, so B cannot for sure be 9. So B must have, a, must have a value greater than 9. Why? Because 9 plus 1, it will give A, uh, the value of A would be 0. So, let's take B as 2, for example. So, 9 plus 2, it will be 11. So, 1, and one thing is going to be a remainder which will be added to the hundreds here. So, what does that mean? Whatever the value of A we will always get another another uh, integer so that the remainder that's going to be from uh, the tens here will be added to the hundreds and therefore we must already know that what uh, the value of a is going in order for us to give us six is going to be a plus one which will give us six because uh, the remainder that we get from the tens will be given to uh, to the hundreds so a plus one will always give us the 6. And what do we have that? a plus 1 is equal to 6. So a is equal to 5. So this is the logic you should follow to get to the right answer. So a, now we, find the, we found the value of a which is equal to 5. Now the rest is very easy. If a is equal to 5, it means 9 plus b is equal to 5. Uh, and 9 plus b should give us 5. So what is the number? So it's going to be 9 plus 6 it will give us 15 so 5 we write 5 and we have one remainder so 1 plus 5 it will give us 6 so b in this case should be equal to 6 so what do we have here 5 minus 6 plus 3 so 5 minus 6 is minus 1 plus 3 is equal to 2 and that is the right answer and this is the logic and the process you need to follow to get to the right answer this was question number two and i will see you on the next one Thank you.